Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Salvation Z. We are back with another video, guys. And today, man, back at it again with the Call of Duty World League franchising news. This time we have news about where the matches are going to be played, man. So the news broke today that there's going to be home and away matches for this new Call of Duty League. Basically, you know, teams will be playing in their home city and then travel to go play on the road in other people's home cities. Just like traditional sports would do, just like baseball, football, basketball, and just like the Overwatch League is going to be doing this season. So that's pretty interesting news for sure. Really, really interesting news. And they did say that they have plans for it to be open to the public in some way. We don't know if that's gonna be all the time or only sometimes, we don't know yet. The newly assigned Call of Duty Commissioner from Activision, uh, Joanna Ferry said, we are thrilled that the future of Call of Duty Esports will bring more competitive events to fans in cities around the globe. With seven teams already signed on, we anticipate a robust slate of events held in all home markets. So it's interesting that she calls them events like they're not just matches or games so i don't know if that is telling of potentially having like actual events inside of the home markets or how that's going to work and we have no idea yet for sure officially if there's going to be open events at all yet we don't know if there's going to be a cod champs we don't know if there's going to be any type of amateur league yet we don't know anything so we're waiting on all of that type of news still. We finally got our first real solid information in a while about the Call of Duty League and about what potentially is going to be happening. So this obviously brings up a lot of questions. Like how is this going to work for pros traveling every weekend? Are they going to be traveling by every other week? Like are they going to do home and away stands? So like they do like series. Like do they do three games at a time like EG versus FaZe and then you know FaZe leaves and then FaZe hosts uh, LG. Those aren't going to be the actual teams obviously because we don't even know FaZe or e L you know whoever's going to have spots at this point. Yeah it would be something along those lines potentially or they're just going to do you know they're going to fly out for one match a weekend and then you know you, you get 3-0 then you fly home. I, I don't know. We don't know how that's going to work yet. I mean it is an interesting decision because I mean obviously currently how it works out like as you all know they all play in Columbus Ohio in the MLG arena there and so they're all it's a central location for all the teams to go to and then they all stay there and play so this model is different obviously where each team has to build or have their own home arena of some sort where they can host their own matches so we have no idea how many fans could potentially be able to come like is it is it 20 is it 50 is it 100 is it 500 fans how many fans can come to these events we don't know they had to make a decision whether or not they were going to do like a like a local centralized system or a home away system or have like a local centralized system with fans there like where they just gonna have an arena in california and then we could all come out there all the pros stay out there and then they we, we play the league there like there's obviously there was a lot of options and they decided to go with the home away system which i think when it comes to like now, now them doubling down basically on like the localization model i don't disagree with it i mean it'll be cool for fans who if you're a fan of the chicago whoever's now you can go and actually watch your team in Chicago play. Like, that's pretty cool. It's a lot different from normal esports, and I don't think a lot of people expect it with esports or video games at this point, but maybe it could end up being a really cool cultural builder inside the Call of Duty scene. You have all these local fans that really do love their teams. Again, this is the whole conversation when it comes down to like localization versus a normal esports model with brands that already exist. It's the LOL versus the OWL systems. The debate's not even worth having now because they've already decided it's local. So after that, when once you decide it's local, I think it actually kind of makes sense to have home and away matches. Just really truly doubles down on that mentality of having localization. So I mean, it'd be cool if, if I wish I in this situation it would be fun to live in a big city like that because you know if you're lucky enough to live in Los Angeles and you're an Optic fan, now you're gonna be able to go watch Optic every week or whatever every other week in LA if you want to. You can go watch Envy Dow down in Dallas. You know, if you want to go watch Minnesota's team up in Minnesota, you're gonna be able to go watch them up in Minnesota. So I mean, that's cool and I. I mean that is a fun way to do it and not only that but now like if you're an optic fan and you want to watch skump he might be coming to your city you know he might come to dallas or he might come to minnesota he might come to atlanta he might come to new york so that is a cool in that sense it'd be cool to have a bar right next to the venue so you can go and like ha you can go have your esports bar right next to the esports venue where your team's playing in your city and you can all hang out as a, as a group of buds or fans or whatever and watch the game at a bar like that'd be cool i appreciate that culture building aspect of it we're gonna, we're gonna have to really wait and see how this really affects things but again based off where we were with the already decided localization i i can't hate on this at all i actually think it's gonna be kind of fun or kind of cool or like you can go travel and i'll go watch your teams locally basically wherever you are you know right now the only way to go see them live is 
open events, which are kind of expensive. They only happen a few times a year and only in certain cities. So like this year, if you don't live near Vegas, LA, Miami, or Fort Worth, you can't really go to an event. So in that aspect, I think it's really cool. It exposes people to be able to attend events live more often, hopefully. Overall, I think it's kind of decent news. Um, we'll see how it goes. There's obviously a lot of skepticism still with the league and how it could work out. But it's just too early to say. On a whole separate note, we're like six days away from the, the reveal of the multiplayer for Call of Duty. So obviously next week we're going to be talking about all of that and the impact that that's going to have on competitive and how that could look overall as a whole. Like there's so there's going to be tons to talk about next week. So um, I'm going to be trying to do some gameplays. Hopefully I can do a gameplay tomorrow because I haven't posted in a while about a gameplay. And I want to do one. So I'm going to be recording tonight trying to get that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did like it and subscribe, show it if you guys really enjoyed it. But, but as always, guys, I'm Boyce and we'll see you next time. I'm out.